All right, ladies and gentlemen, Fab's in the house. And today I want to show you how to properly pimp uh, Spyderco Para 3. We have this guy over here. Uh, what you're gonna need based on how you're gonna uh, want to pimp this guy, it's gonna be like Torx T6, T8 and T10 bits right over here. And then if you have one or two drivers bit, and then I like to use like some pry tool, like plastic over here. And then you're gonna need like your clip. For example, here I have a Timascus clip that I'm gonna uh, use to replace the original one. And then you're gonna need a set of uh, scales if you wanna replace those. So, you know, these are just titanium. And um, uh, then I'm gonna add also like a backspacer. This is um, titanium. Uh, blacked out and uh, you also will need uh, this kind of tool in order you know for you to um, disassemble the uh, lanyard tube so let's get started um, so we can start like from this side uh, just taking apart uh, the uh, pivot which is like a t10 so you just unscrew that all right and you can just place it over here um, also, I'd like to, you know, keep two screws, uh, two screwdrivers, sorry. You know, one has already the, the T10, this guy will have the T8. And then you see, you can place, you can use these little tabs uh, uh, to place your screws. And then this side can just, you know, come off. You just slide it around like that because there is a pin here, the washer. So you might want to use maybe, you know, something like that just to uh, clear that out. And then you just, you know, open like this. You just remove uh, your blade, okay? And then um, you have to try. So usually you can wiggle like this and this is gonna come out, uh, come off easily. But the issue is gonna be like to remove this uh, lanyard tube from this scale over here. Uh, let's do one thing at a time. Let's first disassemble everything. So, you know, you're gonna have another T8 screw over here and you put it just right next to that. And then you're gonna have, you know, like a st uh, standoff. And then you will have your stop pin right there. And then you can take out the other pivot screw using your T10 right over there. And then you have your bushing that can go here and your washer that goes there. So you're almost set. So you can put this to the side for now. Okay. Now we need to remove the liners from the, um, from the scales. This, look at this, just came off pretty easily, so this is gone. Uh, this one, you know, we need to remove this guy, which usually it's kind of stuck right there. So that's why you can get this tool from SDK, which is gonna be pretty handy. You basically just place it like this, all right? And then actually you need to unscrew, you need to remove the pocket clip, which is gonna need like a T6 and then just be, you know, very gentle, careful not to strip anything. So that's one, that is two, and that's the third one right over here. And, you know, I like to keep uh, these screws like aligned. So that's gonna be the first, you know, second and third based on the position they occupy in the clip. And here is gonna be your clip, okay? Uh, then you have this surface here clear to use this guy, which is gonna go like this, all right? And you just hold it like that. You, you turn this one in, you align it with the lanyard hole like that. And then you just, you see, you just squeeze it out basically. Very gently, you know, you get to a point where it's just gonna fall off and you know gently 
you remove this and there's no damage whatsoever and you were successful in removing the lanyard too so that's one uh, then if this doesn't come off like in this case you don't bend that but you might want to use this uh, this pry tool somewhere like for example like you can check maybe here if it's gonna work or for example you just jam it a little bit here there you go so like this and it just pops off like that that was pretty snug so you're left you know with these uh, liners which you're gonna just uh, toss right inside the scales you're gonna want to replace so in this case they're also quite snug so i'm just gonna align them from the bottom like here and just you know press this guy in and here it's very snug okay and also here and here no well almost nice now it's in you know with good manners and patience and uh, yeah you can always uh, get what you want right and this side let's see if it's gonna be as painful no this is snug yeah but not like that so maybe here we can just you know just hammer it in this is like a hard plastic there you go nice it's in so right after that we're gonna okay you need to identify where the notch is so in this case it's in this position so you're gonna need uh, a washer first and the notch it's right there at the base so you just put the washer there you see the you know d-shaped keyed in bushing pivot it's kind of like a bushing pivot it's right there Take your pivot screw on the other side. It's gonna use a T10, which is actually, took it out, so it's here. This is, by the way, a nice uh, takedown mat. It has some uh, magnetic areas, you know, for your uh, screws not to fall out like this one this area for the tool is magnetic it's pretty cool you can check the description and see if you want to get one from amazon all right so this you know don't tighten this too much it's gonna be in like that and uh, next up we're gonna need uh, like the blade like this and then uh, since we're gonna use the backspacer, actually, we need to do this first. So, you just try to push it in. So in this side, in this case, it just like, sl went, went in like pretty easily. And then you can use, uh, you're not gonna use this piece anymore. You slide in the backspacer, okay? You take your T8 right over here and the screw, it was this guy, because the screw will just screw in into the backspacer thread just like that all right so that is done and then you got you can use some lube or not it's up to you and then you have this you put the pin the stop pin right there you put your washer back in and then you just you see align this hole with the stop pin like that like this and you just press 
right over here. It went down like a boss, perfectly. And then, you know, just the handle screw screws in right into the backspacer. Take your T10 and you tighten the pivot just like that. Perfect, you check for blade play, nothing there. And then you just exchange this for nice T6, because this is what you're gonna need, not for this, but for your fancy Timascus clip. So you see this side, this way, sorry, you keep uh, the screws going into the same hole. So number one, in the beginning, you know, just don't tighten, over tighten them too much because you can risk to strip them. Okay, two. And the third one right over here. There you go. And just finally, you know, just a little bit more like that. So you can feel it that, you know, it's snug, but not too tight. So there you have it. You know, this is how you change uh, the scales of your para three or para two, paramilitary two, and uh, how you put a backspacer on and a nice uh, pocket clip in. So there you go. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching and stay tuned.